Hey, I'm Mark Rusted and I'm here to talk to you guys about the Park Edition of the Phoenix Project. I grew up in uh, Oxford uh, in the UK and ever since I was younger, it was kind of more of a boat scene in England. There wasn't that many cables, but the price of riding behind a boat is really expensive, so I would tend to head over to the cable and whereas mo most people would do air tricks, I kind of strayed towards hitting rails and getting a different feel off kickers and that's kind of landed me to where I am now and I've made it over to America and I'm now focusing mainly on park riding and rails. When you're taking a regular wakeboard to the park, sometimes it's hard to feel the rail. You're, you're hitting the rail and you, you're riding along it, but you can't, you can't feel the energy between going through you, your board, and the rail. Since being on flex boards, I've been able to get a lot better feeling on the rail, but there's still been that little bit of a lack of balance and control when on the rail. The transition from going from flex to the Phoenix project, I've noticed that with the stored energy you've got in the Phoenix project, you're able to really have a more snowboardy feel and you, you're able to generate the snap at the end of your press, whereas on other regular flex boards, you get to that final point of the flex and instead of it resisting you back and you being able to snap out of it, it kind of just folds over, whereas this really holds it. So you'll notice that when you're riding the Phoenix Project or the Park Edition of the Phoenix Project, when you're uh, at the end of the rail and you're pressed out, due to the balance points being changed to closer to the tip and tail, you're really able to feel it and the board will answer to what you want it to do when you're at the end of the rail. With the softer layup and the centered bottom, when you ollie straight onto a rail, you'll notice that you can jump straight into a nose press the board won't try and get away from you. It also won't grip too much on the rail and kind of hold you up. It kind of just has a nice balance in between the two. And you're able to stay pressed for longer whilst being in control. So all in all, the Park Edition of the Phoenix Project offers all the same features as the regular Phoenix Project. It just has a little bit of a softer layout. You, you'll notice that you're able to jump straight into presses and continue to balance in those presses all the way through your rail hits. Also, if you're hitting a rail which maybe has a step up or a gap in it, you're able to go from that press into the gap and land back in a press, whereas other flex boards, you lose a little bit and you, you end up flattening out and so all in all the rail hits are not as good. So whereas flex boards out on the market are completely flat on the base, this uh, particular board has nice channels which allow you to generate better tracking through the water on approach to hitting a rail or a kick or whatever it may be. Okay guys, hopefully I cleared up to you the differences between regular boat boards, flex boards, and the Phoenix project collection we've got here at Ronix. I'm Mark Rossiter and I hope to see you guys out at Rail Park soon.